today I am going to show you and tell you about Gua Sha, which is, the, this is one of mine particularly, traditionally used in Chinese medicine. They come in different shapes, sizes, some of them look a little bit more like a comb, uh, some of them are made out of bone. This is made out of jade. So you may have watched my previous video on jade rollers. These are similar but different. So I find that the Gu Sha, because it's got the different shapes to it and it's flat, it's just got maybe a little bit more flexibility, to be honest. So I wanted to just kind of maybe recap as how to best use this type of thing at home. So firstly, you could use it from the fridge, but it loses its cool very quickly. There is a benefit to that cold. It really does tighten the muscles, stimulate the blood flow, so it adds an extra dimension to using this as well. I personally use a bowl, cold water, and I've got some ice cubes in there, so I can literally put this in, so in between using it on my face, I can make it cold again before I kind of continue on the other side of the face. Firstly, perfectly cleanse skin. You don't necessarily need an oil or something on the skin to make the Gua Sha work. Uh, you can use it on, on kind of naked skin because it's got a, a polished surface it's not going to drag on the skin, but you might like to, you know, you could actually do this over a face mask, you know, as well as an oil. So again, just for that at home facial, it's kind of another dimension to, to boost that. So firstly, I am going to start with this kind of edge with some circular motions on the skin. So if I'm gonna maybe focus on my forehead, I'm going to start with creating some circular motions. So maybe three in one place, and then move. And then move again. And I'm going to create rows that I'm going to work up. I suppose it's almost like spiraling up the face with the tip of this. So with that kind of lifting motion, you can see that I'm encouraging the brow to lift as well. The nice thing about this, actually, if you haven't put any product on the skin, is that you can continue into the hair. So the muscles, that you know, they don't stop here. It does continue back into the hair as well. I'm then going to glide out. And I'm going to swap to this edge so I can push up. Nice to continue that back. You might get a little bit of redness, erythema. I'm swapping back to my side. I'm gonna support my skin because I'm gonna just rub backwards and forwards. Gliding out under the eyes. And then what's great about this is I can then swap to the other side. Can you see it almost perfectly sits either side of my cheekbone. So I'm going from middle to outer and then again it sits perfectly along my jaw to push, drain, lift, glide, You can also push up with the curve to continue a bit of a, a lift and plumpness to the cheekbones. And then again, maybe use one of the edges, whatever works for you, around the lip. That curve seems to kind of nicely fit into the chin. And maybe creating just a lift at the edge of that. So you can glide up and down the neck. 
They do use these types of things all over the body. So you can actually press in and really work. I find with these you can get more pressure than the, the jade rollers. So that's one of the key, oh that feels so good. One of the key differences potentially from this to a jade roller and just a little bit more flexibility. So now I've done one side of my face, I'm gonna put it back in the cold water. I'm gonna leave it there for a minute just to kind of get its coolness back and then I'm gonna continue on the other. Circles and spirals. So you can be firm, but it shouldn't hurt. That's not the intention. This does feel great, actually. I love this one. I think end of day, just doing this releases so much tension, let alone kind of benefiting, you know, the, the face and the, the skin and glow. So gliding underneath. So this does work nicely if you've maybe put your eye cream on because it does give you something to kind of glide because obviously as we age the, the skin around the eyes does get a little bit crepey and we don't want to drag that. So just being gentler underneath the eyes. So changing and I'm supporting the skin again so it's not pulling. And then under the jaw. And you can actually see I've got real kind of increase of blood flow there. So with that pinkness, that is fresh blood flow, which is almost like, I suppose, feeding the skin from the inside. And then I'm using the side just to kind of drain down, work into the muscles. Actually, I'm gonna work into the back of my neck. That feels so good. But you can see, you know, it's definitely brought it some pinkness. If you actually Google Gua Sha on the body, you'll see that actually practitioners are working really deeply into the muscles of the body for a, a detoxification benefit. That's kind of in traditional Chinese medicine. We are not doing that method on the face. It's quite different, okay? So those are just a few ways of incorporating a Gua Sha into your at-home skincare routine. Uh, I hope you have found that helpful. Please do ask any questions below. I'm always happy to help.